Hotaro had just started high school and appeared to be an ordinary student. However, the entire world appears gray to him. He is an idealist who lives by the maxim that he will not do anything if it is not absolutely required and he will take care of things as fast and effectively as he can if they need to be done. He is a total recluse who despises having a life, and he lives in contemporary Japan with his family. Does not that sound a lot like you? It is the first day of school today, and he has resolved that he will spend these years by himself, devoting as little energy as possible to pursuits that ultimately yield no fruit. He walks inside the campus and is immediately put off by all the high-energy students welcoming the newcomers and trying to coax them into joining their clubs. He walks straight through them, puts his shoes in the locker, and moves to his class where he meets up with Satoshi, who is his best and only friend. He has known him for almost all his life, being familiar with his quirks and his philosophy of making as little effort to achieve anything as possible. He backs him up for the new day of school as it brings endless possibilities, but Hotaro refuses to show even a little enthusiasm. He asks why he is still in school anyway, as he is the kind of guy who immediately walks back home as soon as school is over. But Hotaro hands him a letter with a sigh. Satoshi opens the letter, which is from Hotaro's sister who is in India for the time being. She wrote a letter to him which arrived yesterday, begging him to join the classic literature club as no one usually does. According to her, every single year the number of students wanting to join the club decreases, and she is afraid that it will be shut down before long. She claims to have a special connection with the literature club and tells him to join it to prevent it from dying. Hotaro harbors a lot of love for his sister and ends up agreeing to her requests, taking assurance from her that he won't encounter any difficulties. Because there are no other members of the literature club, if he joins, he'll have a whole classroom to himself. This actually makes Hotaro a little bit happy, as at least he won't have to spend his energy talking to someone else. He bids Satoshi goodbye before going to the staff room to get the key. He arrives at the classroom allotted to the literature club and is thankful for the fact that it is in a very remote location inside the school. He puts the key inside the lock and opens it up once he enters the room. He is surprised to see a short, black-haired girl watching outside of the window. She turns around and walks up to Otaro, introducing herself as you are you. She claims that she already knows Hotaro as they were in the orientation together, which shocks Hotaro as there were a bunch of kids there and he didn't even notice URU was there. She tells him that she has joined the club for some personal reasons and asks if Hotaro has also joined the club. He, however, quickly refuses, saying that he hasn't. As now that the club has a member, it will live on and he won't have to join any clubs. He turns around and starts walking before telling her to lock the doors when she leaves. However, she tells him that she cannot lock the door. He asks her why she can't do it. She replies that she doesn't have the keys. Hotaro looks at her confused and produces the keys from his pocket, handing them over to her. He asks her if she didn't have the keys, how did she lock herself in? She looks at him confused and asks whether the door was locked. Hotaro realizes that she had no idea she was locked, and this makes the girl curious as she wants to solve the mystery of how the door can be locked when she doesn't have the keys. Satoshi also enters the class as he comes to check on Hotaro, and Eberly gets intertwined with the mystery. Hotaro tries to leave again, but the girl grabs his hands and asks him to please help her solve this mystery. Hotaro, who has never felt anything like this before, ends up obliging and asks her whether she saw anything to miss. She replies that sometime before she came in, she heard a clanking sound, and when they all focus their ears, they even heard clinking noises. They go out and spot the janitor who is closing up all the rooms that were unoccupied because he has the master key. They all realize that the janitor must have thought that the room was empty because of its remote location and shut it up without anyone noticing that he had been locked from the inside. Everybody was satisfied that they were able to know the truth and they all walked near their lockers. She asked Satoshi whether he would like to join and even though he has multiple clubs, he agrees to join. Hotaro tries to tell him that he isn't joining but IRU again grabs his hand and asks him to join. Hotaro again melted at her touch and ends up giving her his application card, making her an official member of the literature club. The next day, Hotaro comes to school and after the day is over, is forced to stay back and write an essay that they got for homework. Satoshi makes fun of him for not completing his homework on time, but he replies that he simply forgot to bring the homework to school. Satoshi laughs at it and starts telling him about a new mystery inside the school. According to him, in the morning, a girl was coming up from the grounds while it was raining outside. She heard the beautiful melody of classical music playing in the music room but it was entirely dark. 
She gets intrigued by it and opens the door, but is horrified to see that the piano is empty and the room seems to be empty, the melody is still playing, however, and her heart starts beating faster. The piece starts coming to an end as soon as the piece ends. She feels a chill run down her spine and a scraping noise suddenly from the floor. A figure appeared, with messy hair and bloodshot eyes. She staggers to stand and starts walking towards the girl, by which time she shuts the door and runs away as fast as possible. He finishes the story and looks at Hotaro excitedly, but his gaze is met by the same unenthusiastic face as he starts writing away on the piece of paper. Once again, suddenly, he asks Satoshi whether this news has rotated around the school. When he says it is a pretty big deal, he immediately feels like URU will soon come over to him and ask him to help figure out the mystery. He immediately takes out a piece of paper and starts scribbling something before telling Satoshi to tell her a make-believe story about the mystery of the secret clubhouse. Arrow arrives perfectly on cue, enters the room, and walks straight over to their desk asking whether they have heard about the music room mystery. Hotaro, however, quickly cuts her off and tells her that Satoshi was telling him about a very famous mystery at the school. She immediately gets hooked, and Satoshi makes up a story about a secret club known as the Spider Club. This is a ghost club in which no one knows who the member is or how they are selected. It is said that they always put their notice on the notice board, but only a select few people are able to find it every year. This immediately intrigues her, and she asks whether they would help her find it. Hotaro finishes his essay at that very moment and tells her that yes, he will. They all visit the notice board on their floor and rummage through it, but are unable to find anything of substance. Finally, Hotaru advises that maybe they should go down to the main notice board, which all of them agree is a good idea. They make their way to the ground floor and are odd to see the notice board filled with so many posters from all the numerous clubs around the school. The notice board looks like a war zone as all the clubs want to portray their clubs on the main board so that they catch more eyes. They start looking closely at the board and see almost every poster, but start losing hope. Suddenly, Hotaro draws their attention and informs them that he found it below one of the posters. He shows her the small notice for the spider club, but she doesn't seem to be very impressed. She tells him that she gets the feeling that this mystery wasn't a mystery to begin with, as there are many loopholes in it. They, however, realize that it is getting late and decide to part ways. Satoshi and Hotaro start walking back together when Satoshi asks him why he crafted the lie and created the poster for the spider club. He then puts it below the other notice while no one is looking. He looks at him and tells him that he simply didn't want to go to the music room, as it was on the farther side of the hall and not on his way to move outside the school. Satoshi looks at him in awe and starts laughing before asking whether he has any idea about the mystery of the music room. Hotaro looks at him and says that the music room is almost always occupied by really passionate students who have given their entire lives to music. The pianist especially has a habit of sleeping inside the room as she doesn't want to waste time. She closed the windows in the rooms and slept while playing a CD of classical music on the tape recorder, which acted as an alarm when the music gets over. She will realize it and wake up. That is why, when the student opened the room, she saw no one at the piano but heard the music playing. As soon as the music stops, she woke up groggy with bloodshot eyes because of the low amount of rest, which scared the living daylights out of the poor student. She ran away. Satoshi looks at him in awe and tells him that his energy-conserving ways will be put to the test because of IRU, as she seems to be the only one who can force him to work.